everyone, I'm here to do my um, trigger shot tutorial for you. I've had it all set out down here, so um, I'm sure you guys know how to open boxes and things like that. And I'll just get straight into it. I had my last Go Not Left shot at um, 6 o'clock last night. And I'm go it's about 12 o'clock here now, the next day, so Friday. Um, I'll just pop the camera down and I'll go through everything with you. And I hope you enjoy and I'll try and keep it as sweet, um, short and sweet. So again, you're going to be looking at my belly and boobs, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the Pregnal. They come in a glass vial. This is just the powder in here. It's all powder and you need to mix it with this, which is called a sulfate, which will either be, it's just normal saline and it's 9% normal saline. So what you do is, if you can see, there is a dot. These are glass, so there is a dot, you face the dot away from you. Now if you are worried about cracking glass into your hands, um, that's understandable, you can use an alcohol swab, so you just pop your hand on this and you push it away from you and the top just clicks off like that. That's one. And then this one, there'll be water, There's, um, it's water so it might go up into the lid, so to get rid of it, just tap it and drag it across. So if you just show you, just, I've got it on glass, so you tap here and just drag it and the water should go down. Otherwise there's a few other options, you can swirl it this way um, as well. Again, the dot needs to be facing away from you. Put the alcohol swab on it and click. It comes off very easily. Okay, so at the pharmacy I got a 3ml syringe. You can have the choice between a 3ml and a 1ml. I prefer 3ml, that's what I use um, at work when I'm drawing up things. And then I've gotten two needles. So the needle with the smallest number is a bigger gauge. And the needle with the bigger number is the smaller gauge, obviously. So this is my drawing up needle. So what I'll do is I'll take that one off. Just attach it. It just pushes on. Now, it is fiddly because it is in a glass vial. So you just tip this in, draw up the fluid as such. Make sure you do get two needles. Um, let me see if I can show you this one. This is a big needle um, and this would hurt going in. Um, so have a look at this and I'll show you the one that you're actually going to inject. But if you can see, it's quite a big needle. So what you do is you just push the fluid into the powder and it automatically dissolves. It's quite good. I just give it a little stir and then you just basically draw it back up. It will get bubbles in it. The way I do it, it always gets bubbles in it. Even when I'm at work, I tend to froth things up more than I need to. Don't panic. There's, if you can't get all the bubbles out, that's fine. Let it sit. Sorry, I've got my boobs hanging out. Let it sit. It, the bubbles will go or just sort of flick it. Again, I wouldn't stress too much. There's plenty of drug in there. Push it up. It's not going to matter if there is a little bit of air in this needle because it is only going under the skin. It's not going into a vein. So don't stress about a little bit of air. It's just going to go under your skin. Okay, that's made up. Pop the lid back on this massive needle. This is a 27 gauge, the smaller one. If you have a look, it's very fine. It's, yeah, it's tiny. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I have just had a shower and I am in my own home environment. So I tend not to use an alcohol swab. I find that if you use an alcohol swab and it doesn't dry properly, it can sting. All right, again, I'm going to, um, what's that bruise again? I'm going to find a spot. Now, I do have a scar here that was from one of those boils. I'm just going to pinch the skin, gently go in and press. Now, this does, I find that this does hurt. It doesn't hurt, it's not agony, it does sting. There is a lot of fluid to push in, a lot. Um, one mil 
I believe it is. Yeah, one mil. So that's a lot to go under the skin. Just do it very slowly. Now, relax again. Same, oh sorry, same theory as, um, you eject it in the same way as you do with the gonal F. And you just release. Done. That's my trigger shot. I just pop these, the lid back on, everything's done. That was short and sweetish, I hope, for you guys, um, girls and guys. This is the box that comes in, um, and it's all in here. There are instructions. Enjoy. Thank you.